Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 597, we're talking about Brawlin and Shabraz. Now, these are uh, partner commanders. Uh, Brawlin is red, and of course, Shabraz is white and blue. Uh, but we'll look at them one at a time. Um, the rider here, whenever you discard a card, it gets a 1-1 one -one counter and deals 1 damage to each opponent. So that's cool. And then as probably trinket text here, uh, red giving a shark trample. So that's good. So whenever we draw, uh, whenever we discard, brawling gets bigger. Now we've got Shabraz. Shark bird. Um, whenever you draw a card, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Shabraz. So we have... One gets bigger for discarding, and one gets bigger for drawing. So naturally, this is kind of what we are wanting to do. Uh, cycling does fit right into that, because when you use the cycling ability, you are discarding and drawing, so triggering both of them. So, uh, that's, it's in the cycling deck. Uh, I guess first, let's... Let's go ahead and get that out of the way because that's kind of not real intuitive. Or, well, I guess it is intuitive. It's just not real original. I got a fluctuator and a new perspective because, you know, they came with it. And it helps you out on your... Uh, now, what I, I tried to do was I tried to get cycling cards that had other purposes. You know, Eternal Dragon is going to fix our, our mana by finding a, us planes, right? Uh, hieroglyphic Illumination. If we need to cycle it and draw one card, that's fine. If we need to cast it and draw two, although I don't know we'll do that at four, but uh, Migratory Route. Miscalculation is a decent counterspell. Um, Mage's Guile is really good. You know, protection, or we can cycle it away if we don't need it. Uh, Gilded Light. Curator of Mysteries, Decree of Justice, Shredded Sails, Wipe Clean, Raking Claws, Draneth Healer, Sweltering Suns, Forsake the Worldly, Radiance Judgment. Now, Tectonic Reformation is, I mean, this essentially makes... I'm not going to say 37 because you've got whatever lands that you want to have in play, but this makes a good chunk of your deck cycling. And uh, it, I like the fact that it's cycling red. It, it kind of skirts those infinite cycling things. And then creature-wise, Flourishing Fox gives us something to do on turn one uh, if we have nothing else. But let's look at our... Ma our we are playing three colors, you know. Uh, do we got a Soul Ring, a Jeskai Banner, an Is It Signet, a Rogan Crystal, Bonder's Ornament, the Azorus Clue Stone, Ojatai Monument, and a Walking Atlas. Now, so we are looking to draw and discard. So there's a few things that we need to. Like, obviously, we want to try to find that new perspective if we're going to do the whole cycling thing. But I'll tell you where my mind went. Spell Shapers. Um, I guess I missed the idea. In Mercadian Mass Block, <clears throat> all three sets, there was a recurring theme with Spell Shapers. And I didn't really care for them at the time. I didn't, to be honest with you, I didn't think about what they were trying to do. All right, so what I didn't like about it is I don't want to discard a card to use this ability. But the idea is the Devout Witness here, it's a 2-2, you cast it, but then the Devout Witness has the ability to turn every card in your hand into a disenchant. That's why it's a spell shaper. Uh, because it's the same cost. 
you tap the creature, you discard the card that you are going to quote unquote turn into a disenchant, and then you put the disenchant ability on the stack. I didn't get that, but it does require you to discard a card, so that will trigger one of our two commanders. That's where my mind went. So, do we have the Devout Witness that does the Disenchant? We have Stronghold Biologist that does the Remove Soul, or what's the the current version of it? It'll always be Remove Soul to me. Anyway, Counter Target Creature Spell. <clears throat> Uh, Stronghold Machinist, Negate. Now, granted, these are blue-blue instead of colorless blue. We have a Hammer Mage. Whoa. To selectively be able to do this at whatever level you want. Yeah, destroying them artifacts. We have Avenger Indal. Uh, Exile. Exile. It's the card Exile from Alliances. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we have Cho Aram Alchemist. Uh, prevent that damage you gain that much life. This is reverse damage. It changes what whatever you need into reverse damage. Now, there was a cycle of five, like uh, Spell Shaper Legends, where... You had to discard two cards to produce the effect. Now, white was Magita the Lion. Uh, it was Destroy All Other Creatures. I don't have that one. Um, but Alexi, return X target creatures to their owner's hands. There are times, especially when you get when you get to discard two cards. Yeah, that's kind of weird to say, but uh, get all those blockers out of the way. And then swing on in. Uh, we're drawn and discarding, so of course we got the Locust God and Niv Mizzet, the Crystal Line Resonance. A lot of this deck came inside the actual deck. I mean, it it's a uh, twin. I went to looking for cards. I I was like, well, uh, let let's look at our draw, shall we? I tried to do things. Yeah, I mean, I have the Mind Spring just because it's in there. Let's look at Ristic Stud, or I'm sorry, Ristic Scrying. This is a beast of a card right here. Now, for four, yes, it is a sorcery, but for four mana, we draw three cards. Then, if any player pays two, discard three cards from your hand. Normally, back then, Somebody would just pay the two so you didn't gain anything. Now, huh. I can see scenarios where I'll pay six for this just to draw three and discard three to, to trigger both of my commanders three times. <laughs> uh, we have catalog. Draw two, discard one. Magus of the wheel. This is my wheel of fortune replacement because... Uh, my Roman gladiator name is Brocus Maximus. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just, yeah. All my wheels are used long ago. But drop and draw seven. That, that's pretty good. Uh, channel force. As an additional cost, you discard X cards and you draw X cards and then you get to deal. Uh, so much of what we want to do, right? Heartwoman Redemption. Drop your hand, draw that many plus one. Uh, I mean, Talarian wins. Same thing. Windfall. Everybody. Read the runes. Read the runes is, is, is kind of unique. It is just a trigger for our commanders. Um, because we're going to discard exactly what we draw. Or, or, well, the number of which, anyway. Um, heightened awareness. Come to the play, drop your hand, and then it's a personal howling mind. Uh, cathartic reunion. And flux. I realize this is a whole lot. Uh, yeah, I like flux. Uh, 
but that's a whole lot of draw and discard. But that's kind of what the deck is doing. That's kind of what we're all about is one of the two commander damages, right? Uh, I mean, we've got the Merfolk Looter to draw and discard. I put Gabby in there because, you know, why not? Um, there's enough cycling where it matters. Uh, other randomness, uh, of course, the Inspired Ultimatum. Um, it's probably the weakest of the Ultimatums, but let's draw five cards. Uh, Nahiri and Narset, Surly Bagasaur. Now, Mental Discipline, choosing discard a card to draw a card. Yeah, two mana, that's a bunch to do that, but it's reusable. What mental discipline, uh, the idea behind it was all your cards have cycling, essentially. Um, even though it doesn't use the keyword cycling. Now, removal-wise, we ain't got a bunch. Not at all, because the idea is just to keep, to burn it out and just overrun it with flyers, you know. We have the shiny impetus, uh, disrupt hibernation uh, i mean it's not a bad card uh and disenchant that brings us to our non-basic lands of which there are many 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 we have tranquil crove crove cove <laughs> azorus chancery irrigated farmland prairie stream sky cloud expanse the swiftwater cliffs is it boiler works Shivan Reef, Windscarred Crag, Boros Garrison, Boros Guildgate, Mystic Monastery. That's a that's a pretty evolving wilds there. I love that in foil that lava river is uh, just outstanding. Uh, I believe Mr. Mason, thank you, Danny, uh, gave the uh, evolving wilds to the calls. I mean, oh. yes, I am part raccoon. I love shiny things. Mm. Uh, remote Isle, Lonely Sandbar, and Desert of the Mindful. Would have used all of the uh, cycling lands, but apparently I'm all about using all those cycling lands, and I have used them up. <laughs> so, so another partner pair down. That uh, the partner pair takes out two legends off the list. But actually, how I personally feel about the partners, um, it may occupy the space of two cards, but they're partner with, they're locked to each other. It's one, it's one card spread across two pieces of cardboard. That's, in, in my opinion, that's how I see the partner with. It's just, it's one more card that's automatically determined for the deck. Well, that is 597 on the wall. We got two left and then the big 600. I guess I should probably um, get to building 600. I have pretty much lined out what I want to do for six. Um, I may have to break the uh, uh, the flow of every single day because I want to do something special and and uh, it might take a little bit of time. So uh, I do appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all so much. And uh, right now, it's time to shuffle and cut.